Creating tempo changes in your GarageBand projects can be a great way to add a dynamic and unique feel to your songs. Just ask artists like Queen. Radiohead or The Weeknd. In this video, I'll show you how you can add your own tempo changes to your projects in GarageBand for Mac. First off, click on the track menu in the toolbar at the top of GarageBand screen, and then click Show Tempo Track. Making tempo adjustments on the tempo track works in a similar way to automation. There's a tempo line along which you can click to place adjustment points. You can click on and drag an adjustment point to change the position of it on the timeline of your tempo change. Dragging the point up and down will increase or decrease the tempo after that point. To create a gradual increase or decrease in tempo, click on and drag the smaller circle above or below your adjustment point until you have a curve that suits your track. Once you've done this, your tempo changes will now start to come into effect once the playhead reaches the point that you've edited. Be aware that recorded audio regions might sound a little bit iffy if you're changing their tempo drastically, and it might be a good idea to put off any real instrument recordings until after adjusting the project's tempo. Drummer or MIDI tracks, however, will change to fit your project's tempo automatically though. Let me know if you plan to create tempo changes in your GarageBand projects or if you've fiddled about with this already down in the comments. And if you could give that like button a good hard slap on the way past, I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you're using GarageBand's drummer track in your projects but find it sounds a little bit too robotic, Watch this next. <laughs> 